The physicians don't have a lot of power to say yes to things, but they have incredible power to say no. And they can basically stop any reform maneuver in its tracks. But this is why I like the concept of patient-centered care, because I think it starts changing the dialogue. If you start saying, okay, we need to have patient-centered care, what are the elements to achieve that? One of the things Canadians want to do is they want to maintain the idea that no one should have to go bankrupt with the cost of health care. Everybody supports that concept, but that still doesn't prevent the idea of significant reform. And I became convinced that actually, even even if you created a parallel private system, it's not the full answer. You need significant change in the public system. To do that with patient-centered care, you need to start with primary care. This is a very different approach than what we've been doing, and it does take away from the provincial monopolies in terms of bargaining power.